what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 man we got a little bit of news it's not enough to go live like i have been doing but shout out to everybody man um i'm gonna bring this video because look i was not expecting us to hold many visits in this draft process with cornerbacks but today we have the raiders have hosted cornerback Marcus Jones out of Houston um, for a one-on-one -on -one private visit. So this is why I'm bringing this to you guys, right? I want to bring you guys a, a little bit of a, a little bit of some notice on what Marcus Jones is, um, what position he plays and all that kind of stuff, man. So let's get straight into that. Like I said, the Raiders have just are, are hosting a one-on-one -on -one private visit with Marcus Jones. Now, Marcus Jones stands at just about five foot eight. 178 pounds so he's under 180 pounds not really the greatest um and at five foot eight now i understand some people may be like um off the height and weight alone hell no but but let me tell you this this is a guy that uh before some injuries before some surgeries he was he was expected to possibly go in the late second round now with some surgeries that he's had i'll get into that later he is now projected to be in the raiders range of around the third pick right mid third round pick so very interesting to see that the raiders have hosted a, a private interview private meeting with him but he has not only just met with the Raiders, he has also met with the Houston Texans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I may be missing some other teams out there, but he is going to meet with multiple teams, you guys, because I, with all being said, even at five foot eight hundred seventy eight pounds, this dude is a baller. Now, let me let me give you a little bit of um of a description. So Marcus Jones, he actually does a great job when it comes to press man coverage. His footwork and press man coverage is pretty damn good. In zone, he does have some good awareness, um, you know, to kind of break off when the quarterback tries to make a broken play. He's actually really good when it comes to plastering. It's something that kind of doesn't come natural to most cornerbacks, but to Marcus Jones, it comes natural. He is freakishly fast. He does have a lot of um Athleticism, athleticism when it comes to that department in speed. He also has some pretty damn good ball skills. And let me tell you why. In three years with uh with the Houston, with, with Houston, he has six career touchdowns. I understand that's like, oh, it's college, nothing too crazy. But six career touchdowns is nothing to laugh about, right? And his breakout game was in 2021 against SMU, where he had two interceptions. Three pass breakups on 18 targets, so nothing was going this man's way that game. So if you want to watch a little bit of his breakout game, it was that one. So check that one out. So like I said earlier, right, you heard me talk about some injuries. So he is now currently projected as a third-round pick after having shoulder surgery. He had shoulder surgery, which could be a concern for teams in the NFL. This is why he could be going in the third round. Due to the fact of that shoulder surgery and being five foot eight at 178 pounds, him having to come into the NFL and play that slot corner role would be a little bit concerning if they don't like how the surgery went or if they don't like how the surgery is healing. And the reason why is because of the high volume of tackles that these slot corners have to make. You know, playing in that slot position right now in 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 this day and age of football, where you know dime or, or nickel is kind of becoming your base defense right it's becoming a, a a base for your defense to come out in it's no longer a three four or four three um these teams are coming out in four two fives and instead of three linebackers they throw a slot corner in there right so that corner has to be pretty physical and they have to be able to run um you know fill those run gaps they have to be able to come down the alley and make a hit and shoulder surgery could be a concern for some teams and um you know, I understand, right? We have a player on our roster that deals with shoulder injuries himself, and we have seen how it kind of has taken a toll on his career so far. So very interesting to see that, that the Raiders go out and have met with him. And as of today, as of today, without Marcus Jones on, on potentially being drafted by the Raiders, our cornerback room looks like this. Anthony Averett, Nate Hobbs, Rocky Sin, Darius Phillips, Trayvon Mullen, and Cravon LeBlanc. So I think I said Amik Robertson as well. I think I said Amik Robertson, but we also have Amik. So, you know, definitely could use maybe another sprinkle of talent in that room. You know, nothing, nothing. I mean, our, our freaking GM literally said 
you can't have enough talent. You can't have enough corners in this league. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go out and draft Marcus Jones. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions, though. Five foot eight, 178 pounds, coming out of Houston. What are you thinking? What are you thinking about this guy? He also has some versatility, man. Um, he He's a guy that has returned kicks, punts, kickoffs. He's done all that. He's done all that. So there's that versatility as well. He can take a little bit of the load off of Hunter Renfro, right? Um, we also have another cornerback on the roster, Darius Phillips. He can kind of do the same thing. So it looks like they may be looking towards possibly bringing in guys like they could just do more than one thing, right? If if let's say slot corner isn't helping, isn't working for him year one, well, guess what? You can return kicks. You can do that. You can play gunner. So I really want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on this one. Marcus Jones, five foot eight, 178 pounds out of Houston, out of Houston, pretty damn good player in my opinion. I would not be mad if the Raiders drafted him, but it'd be very interesting to see what we do going forward with Nate Hobbs. Does that mean that they really want Nate Hobbs to compete on the outside? Um, and we will all find out shortly. We will all find out shortly on the on the 11th of this month, April 11th, OTAs do start. Um, Today was the beginning of OTAs for coaches, and next week, next Monday, is the beginning of OTAs for players. You'll see a lot of more players in the building, so there'll be a lot more stuff to talk about. So very, very exciting times right now for the Las Vegas Raiders after this kind of dry spell. We are still active, whether it's not free agency, but the draft, we are still doing things, and I'm here to report it. So shout out to everybody who watched this video. If you are new to the channel, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Come back. Watch again, man. Watch again. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so be very, very greatly appreciated if you could hit that sub button. Listen, y'all, I love y'all, Red Nation, but that will be it for today, and I'm out.